Hey guys, welcome to my channel and my very first YouTube video. So today's video is going to be a clean and unpack my messy kitchen with me. We've actually been moved in for about a couple weeks now. I've just been procrastinating on getting this stuff done, but on this night, I definitely got tired of looking at it. And I'm sure my fiance did as well. So yeah, without further ado, I've been searching for this all my life. my I've been looking for a So first, I'm starting off by opening up my cabinets. I want to go ahead and disinfect the inside of them really nice and good just to make sure that I get all the germs out from the previous owners. I am such a germaphobe. So yeah, while I'm doing that, you can see that I got caught up in my seasoning cabinet and I am very OCD. So as you can see, I am just organizing and making sure everything is nice and neat. Now I'm getting ready to wipe down all of my cabinets and I do mean all of them you guys like I said I am very OCD so I'm just wiping down anything that the previous owner or renter could have left behind like grease, grime, stains. I want to make sure I get rid of all of that before I go ahead and put our plates and stuff into there. I want to make sure before I get settled in every new house that we move into to just make sure I clean it of everyone else's dirt, bacteria. I know that's really weird, but I'm really OCD about that type of stuff so I just like to make sure that everything that I am touching is just not dirty or doesn't look dirty doesn't feel dirty it gives me a very great peace of mind at the end of the day to some of you guys but I really thought the house was cleaned out for us by the rental company before we moved in but once I got really close and eye level with some of the spots like the cabinets as I'm going down right here I started to see grease and just stains like coffee stains oil stain grease stains everything and anything you can think of I started to see that and I just wanted to make sure I got rid of everything I mean everything that I seen because I don't like thinking that I'm touching someone else's dirt when I'm freshly moving into a new home. Well, not a new home, but it is a new home to us and for us. So I just wanted to make sure I got rid of everything that I possibly could from the bathrooms to the kitchen. I scrubbed down this place from head to toe. Because our appliances are white, I like to wipe them down at least once a week. They don't really get that dirty. I'm used to having white appliances. We had them in our last previous home, so I've really learned what tricks and things to do in order to keep my oven and stoves really, really clean and my refrigerator. So wiping them down once a week is a really good tip and trick I like to do. I also like to wipe them down after every meal that I cook. Well. 
Now that I've finally finished cleaning, I can get to the unpacking part of the portion of this video. And the boxes that I'm going through right now are just the boxes full of our cookware items that I use. One is actually filled with bowls, cups, plates, seasonings, all that stuff. My fiance, I always let him pack the kitchen. And only because when I try to pack the kitchen, it gives me a headache. When he packs the kitchen, it all gets done quick and fast. But now I see why things get done quick and fast. Yeah, the way he packed things, there were a few broken bowls and other things. But at least he got it done and I didn't have to deal with that headache. So yeah, right about here is when I realized I had a couple of broken bowls, but I got over it really quick when I realized I still had an even number, so I really just did not care. previous home we had a really small dishwasher so nothing is making me more ecstatic right now than filling up this dishwasher and it being the size that it is the last one it literally would drive me nuts because I could not fill it with that much stuff I guess you could call that first world problems but yeah I'm really excited to have a big dishwasher again
is our kitty, Layla. We love to call her Layla Bear. My mother-in-law loves to call her Layla Clapton. So yeah, as you guys can see, she's just trying to sniff her way through the new house. Our old house was about a little over 800 square feet, I would say. It was pretty small. It was a two bedroom, one bath. This one is a three bedroom, two bath, and it's a little over 1,800 square feet. So it's a lot for her to get used to. God bless her heart. She's just trying to sniff along the way as mommy's unpacking. I was so exhausted at this point, you guys. I've been filming for about a few hours now, but I was determined to get the kitchen done and ready because my fiance was going to wake up in about a couple of hours because he had a night pour that night. And I just wanted to make sure that when he woke up, the house was clean, the kitchen was done and unpacked, and it just would have been a really nice surprise for him. And it really was when he got to see the finished product. And also my family was coming in that week weekend actually they came in that night I think around 12 in the morning and I just wanted my kitchen to be presentable and clean when they got there they helped us move the weekend before into this house and I just didn't want any help unpacking I love unpacking my house by myself because I mark my boxes specifically I like them to go in that exact room I know where everything's supposed to go and I just like finding a new home for everything by myself instead of having help from anyone else so yeah that's why I was determined to get everything done this night I think around the time I was done filming it was about 30 minutes before my fiance had to get up and go to work and I was so tired but it was well worth it
something I'm going to definitely be adding on to my Christmas list this year is a cordless vacuum. This house is definitely way too big for me to be lugging this vacuum all around. It did perfectly fine in our 800 square foot house, but I think it's just a little bit too underwhelming for this house. This house is spread out like very spaciously. Everything is just everywhere here. The guest bedroom is all the way in the back. The laundry room, everything is just so spread out that if you don't have a cordless vacuum, it makes cleaning it such a headache for you. There's nothing that's more annoying is when you're in the zone and then you just happen to rip the thing out of the wall socket. I can't stand that. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get me one of those just to make my life a little easier when it comes to cleaning this house and keeping it clean one thing i dread doing now these days is just vacuuming this house because we have a lot of carpet we have a lot of square footage and i just don't look forward now into plugging in my vacuum and getting it done Watching. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you did enjoy it. Also, go ahead and leave me a comment down below letting me know what type of content you would like to see from me in the future. Since my channel is fairly new, it's a baby channel, so I would love to get some ideas from you guys. And definitely don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the